Good afternoon, Whidbey Presbyterian Church. So a new neighbor moved into my neighborhood earlier this week, and I have a few small concerns. You see, they have these terrible sleeping habits. They're up all night long. They sleep all day long, and they're just dancing out in their front lawn with their little penguin friends all night long, lights bouncing off the wall. Look, just look at this. Look at this documentary video evidence I have. Here, that one was a little bit tough to see, so I got out my binoculars. Look at this. Look at him smugly dancing there. And you've seen his ilk all over town, laying in a sad little puddle during the day, but puffed up and glowing late into the evening. There's several different houses that have uh, these things on my block, and I've been putting way more thought into them this year than I have in previous years, because, well, this guy is staring at us each and every evening dancing there. And you know, there's something theological about them, unintentionally theological about them. What's Jesus say? He says, you are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under a bushel basket, but on a lampstand, and it lets gives light to all in the house. In the same way, Jesus says, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. And you know, that's kind of what our hula Santa friend is doing, isn't it? He's letting his light shine for all the world to see so that we may give glory to God. He's being exactly who he was created to be, glowing and lighting up the world for all to see, just like you and me. As Christians, we're called to be the light in the world, but you know, that light doesn't really come from us. We're more like that daytime puddle Santa than the hula one on our own, but Christ's light shines in us and through us and from us. And in some ways, I mean, that's, you know, that's what we're called to, not just in this season of Advent, but throughout the year, but always letting Christ's light shine through us. And it, in turn, then illuminates the world around us. We see the good work of God around us. And then that, in turn, allows the world to see God at work in us and through us and around us and in the world. And that allows the world to give glory to God. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is that the more time that I spend thinking about this hula Santa, the more I really just kind of want to emulate him. The more I realize that maybe he's embodying Christ's call better than I am, you know? That we are all called to be glowing from within in this way. I don't know. But anyway, until next time, peace be with you and happy hula-ing.